All right, I'm gonna do a real quick video here. A four by six inch LED light kit. I already got one the passenger side out already. Just so I can make the video a lot quicker. Which is pretty easy on my 90, 1996 Chevy S10 pickup truck. Got this bad boy hooked up here. That's what this one looks like. I just got it setting on here. So you see the wires for it. And I just did a temporary connection just to see if they work. Which surprisingly, they work pretty pretty good. But uh, I'll show you the comparison here in a second. But uh, I'll show you what the picture of it looks like here. I'll put the part number and stuff in the description. I bought them on Amazon for like $64 with free shipping. They come with some wires, connectors and stuff for the daytime running lights, uh, turn signal. I don't, I'm only hooking up the turn signal. I really don't care about the <clears throat> daytime running lights. See, on some of the battery when it's running, when it's daytime, you don't really need them on, you know what I'm saying? Looks like there. So let me go. You can see it came with the connector for your vehicle and tells you how to connect it into the, the pins there. So I got, you know, secure all that later. But for right now, we're just hitting up this video here. Enough talking. Turn the headlights on. So Y'all can see what the headlights look like in comparison. I know I didn't set it back up in the, the thing there, but you can see the difference right there. That's a regular halogen bulb look. Which is very dim, very hard to see at nighttime, especially when everybody else got LEDs. And that's what this one looks like. And that's not even a high beam on there. But quite the difference. I don't know what the longevity is gonna be. I put the high beams on real quick, so. <laughs> There's a halogen with the high beam, which is, isn't nothing. And then there's the high beam, the LED there. Pretty, pretty bright. So, definitely be able to see the road. And I'll walk over and I'll put the turn sill on. i put the key in the niche on the, on side there so we can see what the turn signal side is going to look like in, in the headlight and it is in hyper flashing so that's good just flashing normal it's just a little bit extra or something you know we'll see how good it looks at nighttime I'll have to do a nighttime video on it when they're both installed and drive down the road and see what it looks like at nighttime because right now it's like 1 p.m. so There you go, there you have it, so far. And I guess this will be part one of the video. And again, that's what the kit looked like. It comes wrapped up nice and neat here. I'm not very good at unboxing stuff or whatever. You know, I just wanna to get to the meat and potatoes of the video didn't want to just film myself installing this stuff I got the plastic over the top of it and there's your connector that's on there and again it comes with that uh, adapter there that plugs into it and then you just gotta hook up your proper wires in sequence which the directions will clearly show you on here let's see and this tells you how to depend what kind of plug you have which way you could install it the proper way and there's again for the daytime running lights and a turn signal I'm just gonna hook up the turn signal only but anyway you plug that in there and boom you're ready to go and the yellow one is for the yellow wires for the turn signal of course the red one for the daytime running light which I don't really want to 
you know, like I said, it's optional. Whatever, whatever you prefer. Anyway, there it is. One more look, and I'll do a part two and a part three of this video, just so you all can see what it really looked like during the daytime and then at nighttime when they're both installed. All right, and once again, it's just basically gonna fit right back into the housing there, and we'll be good to go. All right, that concludes video one, and thank you for watching.